Hey guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial for just a little while using my Faith Blood Moon Neptune. The first thing you want to know for just a little while is that we'll need a capo on third fret. The next thing you want to know for just a little while is the structure of this song. We're going to start with an interlude, then go to verse, then pre-chorus, then chorus, then interlude again, then verse, pre-chorus, chorus, then we'll have a short bridge, another chorus, and we'll finish up with one last interlude. And the last thing you want to know for just a little while is the four chords that we need to play this song. Those chords are G. E minor, C, and D. And I'll have short chord tutorials for all those in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. With all that in mind, let's dive into just a little while. First thing we want to take a look at is what we're playing for that interlude. So this is kind of the intro, outro, and then again it plays once through kind of in the middle of the song. So our chord progression for that is going to be the G, E minor, C, and then back to G. That will repeat through the interlude. What we're gonna be doing for strum pattern for most of this song, including the interlude, will look about like this. We're gonna go down, down, up, up, down, up for each chord, but quite a bit quicker, so more like this. Just about like that for each chord. So a couple times through that interlude chord progression and strum pattern will look about like this. From there, we're on to what's being played for our verses. Our verse chord progression is gonna be very similar to what we played for the interlude. The verse chord progression is gonna be G, E minor, C, and D. So almost the same, we're just changing that last G chord from the interlude into a D chord instead. For this, the strum pattern is gonna be exactly the same, down, down, up, up, down, up, for each chord. So again, very similar to what we played for the interlude, but a couple times through that verse chord progression and strum pattern will look about like this. Next, we're on to the pre-choruses. Our chord progression for our pre-choruses on just a little while is just C and D. And that'll play through twice for each pre-chorus, if I remember correctly. It might change a little bit depending on where you're at in the song. Our strum pattern for our pre-choruses is gonna be really similar, but instead of just playing down, down, up, up, down, up, we're actually gonna repeat it twice for each chord. So it'll look more like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up for each one of those chords. So a couple times through that pre-chorus chord progression with that strum pattern doubled for the pre-chorus will look about like this. And finally, the last thing you wanna know for just a little while is what we're playing for our choruses. For our choruses, we have two chord progressions. The first chord progression is gonna go E minor, C, G, and G again. We'll repeat that progression three times, and then we'll go to this other progression, C, C again, and D, and D again. And that one will only play through once, and then that whole two chord progression thing will play once through for each chorus. And what we'll be doing for strum pattern is exactly the same as what we've been doing for the rest of the song, with one exception. On that first chorus, we're just gonna use single down strums for each chord. Other than that, we're gonna go to use that same strum pattern we've been using for the rest of the song. Down, down, up, up, down, up for each one of those chords in the progression. Again, other than that first chorus, we'll be using single down strums. So you probably already have a pretty good idea of what single down strums look like, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that, but once all the way through that chorus chord progression with that strum pattern we've been using for the rest of the song, will look about like this. If this video helped you out, hit that like and subscribe button. And if you get stuck or need a little extra help with this lesson, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.